intro was that um not okay to do uh, I'm just kidding. it's it sounds great it just sounds nice happy cinco de, de mayo. mayo happy podcast recording mm. day we have one hell of a show we do for you we do it, it, it's a pretty good one because this is post field trip yeah uh episode and our field trip was fucking Way better than I thought it was going to be, for sure. Um, yeah. Way better than I thought it was going to be. I mean, I knew it was going to be awesome, but it was... It was pretty dope. It was beyond... We, like, pretty much went on a magic school bus field trip. Uh, yeah. We were inside uh, the bowels of, of the Stanley Oh, hotel. my God, yeah. It was stupid good. It was. It was stupid good. Um... Yeah, again, th- yeah. There was, what was there? There was just history. There was a lot of history. There were ghosts. There were laughs. And there was... There was near- delicious food. And there was near-death encounters. Near-death. Yeah. Very sketchy encounters. Yeah. Yeah. And... It's okay, we'll get to that. Some other things. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, oh. what are we drinking today? Uh, well, of course, uh, even though, like, and I think I addressed it in the, like, episode notes or whatever for, uh, oh, like, the, the, last the episode. yeah, for the last episode where I was like, yeah, no, I like, we like to kind of think that or make you think that we planned, planned the flautas and the margaritas last, last week because we knew it was going to be, um, released on Cinco de Mayo, but like everything no. else, it's just a fucking awesome coincidence where we're like, we're planners. We're not planners. Mm-mm. We just kind of roll the dice and hope that it comes out okay. But um, exactly. Roll the dice. Mm-hmm. Um, but yes, today we're also drinking margaritas because duh, Cinco de Mayo. We had to. We had to. And our margaritas are bomb. You know what's in them? Lime juice. Agave nectar and a shit ton of tequila. And tequila. tequila. Yeah. And ice. Yeah. That's it. Mm hmm. Because when you're 30, you got to watch your blood sugar. Yeah. And you don't yeah. want to eat that neon shit you have to buy at the store. Yeah. It leaves kind of like a chalky, filmy taste in your yeah, mouth. Yeah. Also, like, literally burns my throat. Yeah. Because it it's makes not good. Me... It's probably like, it's actually probably like Ugh. some type of acid in there. It's like, oh, here's yeah. 40 pounds of citric acid and it's uh-huh. fine. And you're like, and oh, it's some good. yellow number That's six. just eating right through my little. A little esophagus there. It's mm-hmm. no big deal. It's nice. But yeah, that's our uh, drink today. Yeah. Should we just... Uh, Hopefully you guys are still with us from last week where I got a little saucy oh, and uh, yeah. stumbled through that shit. But uh, if, you're, if you're back, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> but anyway, all that being said, yeah, I think we just jump right into it. Oh, we're going. Okay, guys. So we took a field trip um, for our 10th episode. And that's what we're going to try to do every 10 episodes. We're yeah. going to go on a little field trip, and then which hopefully, will be fun for everyone. Yeah, and then hopefully, like, freaking have some cool encounters like we did last time. Because uh, that was, or last yeah. time. It's uh, going to be hard to top this one. Yeah. But. Yeah. But I think that just is, we, I thank God for your wanting to be, like, Instagrammy all the time. Because I think if you didn't want to do that, we would not have gone back downstairs and encountered what was hopefully a real person? I don't know, but yeah, we'll get I don't to that. know either. Yeah, we'll get we'll get to that. Um, so we went to the historic Sa- Stanley. Stanley 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 Hotel in Estes Park, Colorado. That's about forty five minutes up in the mountains from us here in Fort Collins, mm-hmm. um, and it's a beautiful drive. It's gorgeous. I'm sure most of you that live in Colorado have been there yeah I, I think um well yeah probably but it's definitely when you first go to that first part of the canyon it looks first of all I don't I've gone it's up, trippy. up I've gone up to I-70 and up to Winter Park a couple times um but I mean maybe there's someplace else in freaking 
color to like this drive, but like it's just trippy as fuck. I don't think it was because I had a it's road so soda narrow. and it was like I'm like um, am I a little drunk or whatever. But it does feel like you're almost like high a little bit because it's just like it's because it's just gonna sound stupid, but it looks like it's 3D coming at you. But I'm like that's just that's fucking real life. <laughs> that like, is what real that's life. That's like is. freaking like HD Discovery Channel right there. <laughs> Jesus, it's because like you're it's, going up to like. The mouth of the canyon is yeah. what it's called. Yeah. Uh, you go past the best dam store. That's literally what it's called because it sits on the, the dam. dam. Yeah. Um, and then all of a sudden it's like these crazy dramatic rock canyon walls. Yeah. And the road is just winding through them along the, not the Pooter, the Thompson hey. River. Mm-hmm. Um, and the rocks are just like, it is. It's, it's trippy, yeah, it's like, trippy. driving through And there. it's just freaking gorgeous. And there's, it's like, a bunch beautiful. of moss on it right now. So yeah, it's, it's just, getting all green for the spring. It was like in a damn movie. It was it great. Was beautiful. It was fantastic. We saw a couple deer on our way we up. We did. We, we slammed on the brakes for that. We it was did. great. It, we were yuppies. We were oh, like, oh yeah, I was oh, yelling at them. Look a deer. We're like, I'm like, what am I, what am I, who have I become? <laughs> oh, my God. Whatever. Word. Anytime I see any animal that's, that's not a squirrel or a goose, I get excited. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I get pretty excited about squirrels. I, I don't, squirrels. but it's, why? I've never told you my squirrel stories. Oh, you're Multiple about to, so. stir- squirrel stories. No. Well, this have, is why I Brianna Lee Filemeyer but... hates squirrels. Oh. So when I so the, it first started when I was about six. Okay. And I've not told you this story anyways i'm about to bitch yep so i was about six i was living in california my we like boarded we had horses we boarded them at this place okay um the place we boarded the horses at apparently like to trap squirrels and drown them in the horse troughs to kill them the horses no the squirrels oh sorry they would trap the squirrels on their property and drown them in the horse troughs in cages. Wait, say that one more time. The pe- who who the people, the people that okay. owned the boarding the, facility. I kind of zoned out because I was petting my cat, and I uh, stop used- petting your cat over there, Shay. Jesus, it's get- eleven a.m. <laughs> I get very excited about squirrels. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm just Sick. kidding. That's disgusting. But anyway, so people. That's um, disgusting. Yeah. So the people that own the facility. Drown the squirrels in the horse troughs. Why, though? I don't know, like, if my parents knew this for Why not a while. just shoot them if you don't like them? Exactly. Isn't that more fun? Anyway, just <laughs> kidding. That's horrible. Sure. <laughs> I would use a bow and arrow. Anyway. Um, yeah, that sounds about right. So, we were at the at the place, like, hanging out with our horses one day, and I decided to wander off with the dog, because I always like to be around dogs, because I thought I was one sometimes. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so okay. I was with the dog. Okay. And we found, like, a caged squirrel, and I'm, like, six. I vividly remember this, by the way. Okay. And I, like, approach, I come across a squirrel in a cage, so obviously I'm like, oh, my God, a squirrel, I'm going to pet it. Right. Also, my grandma has squirrels that she feeds peanuts in Rhode Island, and I've, like, grown up knowing that. So I was like, right. oh, it's fine. a nice little squirrel. It's like Rocky. I, yeah, it's fine. My Nana's friend. That was one of the names of the squirrels. Mm. Anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah. Vomit. Word vomit. Yes. So I go to pet the squirrel. Meanwhile, the dog is, like, barking at the squirrel, like, probably scaring the shit out of it. I don't fucking know anything. I'm six. Right. So I'm like, oh, this is a perfect time to go try to pet this squirrel. So I stick my finger in the cage to try to pet it, and it bites my finger. No fucking And it sh- fucking hurt. No shit. I remember how hard that shit hurt. Ugh. And then i pretty sure I had to get a rabies shot after that yeah. because it was a fucking squirrel. Yeah. But everyone, when I tell them that story, they're like, Oh, you had to get a shot through your belly button? I don't remember. What? That's like what your rabies shot is. You have to get it through your belly button or something? But I don't remember that. Are you? But I'm pretty sure I had to get a rabies shot. Maybe that's not I true. have never heard of getting a rabies shot through your belly button. That's, I don't know. That's that what a m- couple like... different people have asked me when I tell them I had to get a rabies shot for fu- 
The cat, okay, time out. The cat right now, there's a bag of limes. The cat is in the bag of limes. He's trying to get in there. He's trying to get in there and lay in there, but he doesn't know he'll suffocate if he does that. Mm. Colonel, you're crazy. It's okay. Okay. Um, Yeah, so that's one squirrel story. Then while I was in college, I had a couple other ones where two different times in two different homes, they chewed through my screen to eat things that were on my counter or something, and they, like, made a giant mess. One time, they, like, knocked all my pots and pans over my kitchen floor because there was, like, granola in a bag, like, on my counter. Are you fucking Snow White? I don't understand. Like, I don't know. I don't know. They don't oh. like me. Oh, Or they, they love you. They shit. They just are like, we want to be your friend, Brianna. Well, maybe I shouldn't tell you what I did to the trash so the squirrels wouldn't. You put Litter rat, trash rat everywhere. We there? just we put bleach on the trash. Oh no! Well, and they never. Oh yeah, they would just make a mess of our yard. But that's a. I mean, like you didn't put bleach on the squirrels. That's not no. like you did that. That's it was okay. just like if you're gonna fucking eat our trash, you're gonna eat bleach. Anyway, so we saw deer on the way up. Yes, we <laughs> saw deer on the way up. Good and God! Hashtag squirrels. Yes, I was like a uh, a human version of. Doug, the dog from Up, when he sees a squirrel and he's like, squirrel! So that was literally what we did. Yeah, we did that. It was great. But as humans. But um, then we uh, yeah. got to the Stanley and we had some drinks with this yeah, we lovely waiter named Pe- Petrick. Patrick. Peach. Peach. He was a Petrick. He was a peach, man. Um, he wasn't. He wouldn't make eye contact with us. No, and he like hated being a server. Yeah. He's like, oh, He's you, like, oh, you guys up? are asking for water? Yourselves. What yeah. the fuck are you doing Yeah, here? he wasn't about it. He wasn't about no. whatever. So we just, we got a little drinks and just to kind of. Got a little preview. Because we didn't know what was, we were, because I've never been on this ghost store before. No. <clears throat> so I was excited about it, though. I've heard great things about it. So we had a little drink and then yes. went, uh, what, what did Took we have? a couple oh, no. pictures out And then front. we had some liver pate, which I found out I'm not a fan of, which is mm. fine. It's it was fine. good. Yeah. It was good. It but was. Sh- it's. An adventurous dish. It is. I like my chicken nuggets and my mac and cheese. I'm yeah, just girl. kidding. I I'm, have a I'm bigger palate than that. Yet. Jesus fucking Christ. No, but you do. I do. We I also just... had a delicious strawberry rhubarb crostata that was the special. That was pretty dope. Chef Ryan Damaski. Yeah. He probably does not listen to this. He probably which is He don't got time for that best. shit. Yeah, that's probably fair. Um, um, so then, yeah, we, we, uh, sauntered downstairs and we met we our lovely... We almost were late because we didn't have our name tags on. Yeah. They were like, did you guys, <laughs> like, they were starting the tour. We were just, like, walking and they are like, did you guys <laughs> check in? We're like, oh, no, no. we have to check in? That's yeah. weird. Our tour guide, who was very sure stoic. sure we bought tickets? Yeah, weird. with his cane. Yes. But, our tour guide had a cane. Yeah. And at first we were like, this is an act. And he was also wearing a top hat thing. Like a little bowler hat. Like a little, like, Charlie Chaplin. Mm-hmm. Is that what it's called? But a I feel like they hat? all have to have, like, kind of a character. That's yeah. Sort of what's, it's like, so that's why we thought the cane was part of it, but then yeah. we found out he's a vet. Yes. And it but probably it probably was real. It probably wasn't. It wasn't like he was limping around. He was limping, No, Jay. he wasn't. He was limping. Okay. Uh, I'm really pretty know. sure that I really cane was real. I really wasn't paying attention to him, so it's fine. Um, he probably was limping, but we um, think his name was Bobby or something. Yeah, Robert. We kind of forgot. Yeah, I don't remember what his name was. He was very informative, and um, he but had, he also, I liked his voice after a while. At yeah. first, I thought he was an asshole, and yeah. I was like, okay. Well, you thought I he was an asshole because we were just like saying things as he was like asking questions, and then he would make eye contact with us, and he, nobody thought anything that you were saying was funny, which I thought was fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's because they were like. Why'd everyone come here and no one said anything? And, and I was like, like, Jim Carrey and stories. Were, and he just like, it was like he could, you could hear him audibly sigh. It's like he didn't do it, but you could yeah, just tell him like, like, you could feel his eyes roll in the back of his head if, <laughs> if he could actually do that in front of us. Yeah. But he didn't. But then the shitty part was like five minutes later, he was like, so I heard, heard somebody was like a Jim Dumb and Dumber fan. And we're like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Jesus. Cause yeah. he would, yeah. No one, no one thought we were funny. <laughs> it was just fine. fine. I was kind of drunk, so I was just saying things. Like, like, no one else was. I was trying to interact, and nobody like was interested in your interaction. No, it was kind fine. of sad, but it's I was. Th- I thought it was funny. I was. was I thought you were. Fucking I was funny. having a blast. Yeah, we kind of um, had a stoic group a little bit. 
Yeah, but the reason I said Jim Carrey stories is because if you guys didn't know this, Dumb and Dumber was filmed at the Stanley Hotel and yes. not in Aspen. No. It is not filmed in Aspen, guys. They're a bunch of liars. It's filmed in Estes Park, Colorado at the Stanley Hotel. Yeah. yeah. They probably shot a bunch of exterior shit at Aspen, but they shot the majority of everything else in Estes Park. Yeah. Because I'm sure it was cheap as fuck. So. Yeah, way cheaper than going to Aspen. No, so, yeah, then... He, after he was annoyed with us, yes. he started his tour. Yes. And, and we learned an all awesome about, what, was his, what were their names? I wrote it down. We learned about the Stanley family. And they yeah. were fucking awesome people. They were entrepreneurs, inventors, like they in, invented they were, the airbrush. Yeah, they were two brothers. Yeah. and but Twin all, brothers. Twin brothers. But the, the main story, they didn't do the hotel together, but the main story is about um, the one brother who, what is his name? F.O. is what they call yeah, him. F.O.S. F.O. F.O. Stanley. So they called him F.O. Stanley, which I think it was Freeland, which, Freeland Oscar. Oh, okay. Freeland Oscar Stanley. But like, yeah, they, they freaking invented the airbrush. And they invented like the first powered, like steam powered car, steam something like that. Car, yep. With no steering wheel. and Yeah. But like, I, I had no it idea they scary. they. Did any of this? So, um, and the light, the FO Stanley like light bulb company yeah, is yeah. them. Yeah, it's, which was it's fucking insane. Yeah. Like they were these just little fucking entrepreneurs. Yeah, and they what was the story when they were like nine years old? They were able to make a thousand dollars because they invent yeah a thousand dollars um in today's money, but it, for like nine year olds they're like oh it was seven they made seven hundred dollars yeah no it was like thirty eight bucks or something like that and it, like. If you did inflation, it was like a thousand in today's money. It wasn't thirty eight dollars. It was like how much you want to fucking bet? I want to <laughs> bet some money. Yeah, <laughs> it was like thirty eight bucks. Okay, and because that's why he was like a whopping thirty eight dollars. Oh, and yeah, then yeah, if yeah, you do right. inflation, it was like a like a grand. Yeah, and then everyone was like they bought candy, and actually they ni- little nine year olds are like oh, we're buying tailored suits. So they oh, were yeah. like from the get go, they were just these fucking. Just cra- yeah, kids. and the brother that isn't involved in the story—they were real entrepreneurs, unlike Billy McFarlane, aka Fire Festival. Yeah. Anyway, oh, still stings a little bit. Um. <laughs> anyway, uh, but also, the, what was the other thing that they did? Um. No, what I love—the pettiness. Oh yeah, yeah, because, yeah. This is good. Um. They the one of the brothers, the brother that did not build the Stanley Hotel, but the twin brother, he I guess had like this photographic memory, so yeah, he they went were fucking smart. Yeah. So these guys were like, they were joined at the hip, like pretty much like all up into the point they went to college, and well, they went to college, and then one of the brothers, the brother that wasn't involved in this this with the Stanley Hotel, had a photographic memory, and I guess like something happened with a test or something like that, and. Um, even though he like drew like they asked him like to draw the map of the United States like for like verbatim like just draw right here and he did all that with like the the, the outlines of the states and like the, and the, the capitals, capitals and, and the, the rivers. rivers and they were like you're a fucking cheater even though he fucking did it in front of them so what did he do he went out and like fucking like got a law degree and he was like and I think he like sued the yeah. dean of the school and won and he's like. Okay, I'm not, I don't need to. And then he was never a lawyer Yeah, he again. never practiced law again, which I was like, damn, that is like, that is the, like, that's just, oh, I just applaud his, his pity. That's the ultimate I, go fuck it, yourself. It is, and I fucking love I it. I ain't no fucking that cheater. That is my fucking, I, I mad respect to him. Yeah, Because that is amazing. some, oh, that is some expensive pettiness, and I, pfft, damn. Yeah. That's some tenacity, I love it. Yeah. So that was that was pretty sweet. Anyway, so that was like a random side note. Anyway, so then we go to the next room. After he kind of tells us like the little brief history, yeah. the Stanley Hotel was like built because he, so the, let's go back to the brother that actually built it, the F, F.O. Stanley. Mm-hmm. F.O. Um, which actually is kind of a pretty cool nickname back then. F.O. F.O., man. man. Yeah. So he was, <laughs> what was he? That's was, how he they was, would say it back He was then. diagnosed with tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. Or what, what did they call back then? Consumption? Yeah. And uh, they pretty much told nice, us. Nice, Jay. I do yeah. not remember that. Dude, I was, li- I was like, Meh. I was listening <laughs> really, really intently. Um, he got diagnosed with consumption. And then he was told pretty much what he had six months to live. Mm-hmm. So they, they. Well, they're from Maine. And then yes. they were. Yeah. Did they were from. To the they were from Maine. Longmont or no, something? no, no. They were from Maine. 
the doctor told him like go to Denver for whatever oh, reason yeah, because yeah. you get the clean mountain air. Mm-hmm. And then, but at the time, like 1907, when he was diagnosed, so and they, he was pretty much told like you have six months to live, but go here. It does wonders for people that have consumption. And he went to Denver, but at that time, it was like at the height of like the gold mining mm-hmm. and all that kind of like just big innovation and stuff like that. So the air was fucking horrible. So, and there's, I guess a lot of people in his predicament, they were told like, go to Denver, go to Colorado, get that clean mountain air. And they're like, oh no, you're actually, it's, it's not. worse. So then he goes to the doctor in Longmont and they're like, oh yeah, yeah. You know, you had like six months to live. Yeah. Now you only have three because the air is so bad. So he pretty much told FO and his wife, cause his wife came with him to go. He's like, we, you pretty much should just, you know, I'll tell you what you need to go up to this great place. It's called Estes, or I don't know if they, it was called Estes at the time, it but was. it was a it was a home set up there. Yeah, it's just like pretty much you need to go up, like go go find someplace pretty to die, and this is the place to do it. And I will get a little coffin, and I will come up in three months after the end of the summer, and I'm gonna come in, and I'll come, you know, get, you. get your body and all that kind of stuff, and I'll go come collect your wife and get her back on the train to go back home to Maine. And or Massachusetts, I don't know where it was. I think they're from Maine. It was it was somewhere Newton, on the East Maine Coast. or something like that. Yeah. So they go up there, and then he f- fucking gets yeah. better. Yeah, so the so guy the guy comes back up after the summer, and then he he's like, "Oh, you're not dead. Yeah. I guess I'm gonna turn around now." So. Yeah, because so Estes Park at that time was like a bunch of homesteaders, mm-hmm. and so Estes Park also was in like in the valley. Um, there's, like, Long's Peak, which is a big 14er that you can see up in Estes Park, and it's just surrounded by, like, huge mountains, and mm-hmm. it's, like, it's just, there's beautiful. a lake. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's right by the Rocky Mountain National Park. Yeah. yeah, and he actually, they were the ones that started Rocky yeah, Mountain Yeah, which is, National which, again, Park. I didn't know any of that. So, anyway, yeah. so they're, like, actually a big part of Estes, which I had no idea, mm-hmm. which makes more sense why it's such a big deal. Mm-hmm. Anyway. So, yeah, he went up there, and everyone that lived up there were homesteaders, so F.O. started, you know, doing what the Romans did, mm-hmm. and he, he hunted, pretty much did. and he fished, and he got, and he... He built that fucking city, is what he did. He got food from all the people, like, he was able to get meat, cheese, yeah. milk, So, that was know? the other crazy thing, is that they, what, it was the elk population had gone down so much, he, he carted fucking elk from, like... Yellowstone or whatever, and then just brought them back here, back back uh, up to Estes, and then and repopulated repopulated that. Or he repopulated was it salmon or trout? I can't remember which one. Yeah, it was. it was trout. Yeah, I mean this guy was fucking incredible. So yeah. and then like I guess he climbed the fourteener like long oh, yeah. like three fucking times before he died. So it was like it it, is, it was. Yeah, it's crazy that wasn't it that summer that he was like diagnosed with tuberculosis yeah. that he did that. Yeah. And then he was like, all right, I'm just going to climb this mountain. It's fine. So basically he cured himself by just like, fucking living clean off ass the land. mountain air. And like that just goes to show you like what fucking clean living can do for you. Like mm-hmm. how it cured fucking tuberculosis from him. I mean, Especially back in that day, right, that day and age. Fucking like, incredible. That's unheard of. Eating amazing food and then just being up in mountain clean air. If that doesn't say anything about your fucking environmental shit. Yeah, guys, come that's on. That's fucking incredible. That is, that's awesome. Yeah. Not environmental shit. You know what I mean. We, yeah. You know what I mean. Shit's a term of endearment sometimes. Yeah. So anyway, he fucking survived. Yeah. And then he um, pretty much decided, he, what was it? He had like this little, they described it as a cottage, but it was like a five bedroom. Yeah. It was a 5,000 square foot cottage. And they're like, hmm. And they had like five guest rooms and they would always have their friends come out and visit because they were like super wealthy people. Yeah, we want to share this with all my friends. Yeah. He wanted to share this, like he didn't have enough rooms essentially because he just wanted to keep bringing people to. Yeah, all his rich, like Vanderbilts, the fucking, like all his rich friends would come visit and they were like, we need to build a a guest house for all our friends. So that's what What the the Stanley Stanley is. Yeah. So in building, he built that. How many rooms? Like a hundred? Something like that. And it was built in 1909. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, which is pretty, I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, I feel like they haven't really changed it much, yeah, which no. obviously it's a historic place, so they're not going to change it all that much, but so yeah. So then, and he like built like a giant, like fucking concert hall yeah, for his so wife. His, his wife was a pianist, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> like an I don't know why that always pianist. makes me laugh because I'm a fucking immature idiot. And she gave up her dreams of like being a professional like orchestra in an orchestra and all that because she had to take care of 
her husband and yeah. she gave all of her dreams up. So he built it's her a this true love story, incredible concert hall, mm-hmm. it's um, beautiful, which is still on the property. And we'll definitely be talking about that. Oh, he almost got murdered in that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so she built a big concert hall and he had, her own Steinway grand piano made for her. Yeah. Um, it And it's, I don't think we actually saw the piano, but. I've been in tours there and it's amazing. It's and it's amazing. the original piano that they made her. They've, they have restored it. Mm-hmm. Um, Cause they found it in an old storage closet. Like. Yeah. The, the 80s our tour guide kind of talked to us about that. Like when the, the hotel kind of fell on hard times, um, the piano disappeared, never got, got really scared, but apparently it was only a select number of employees that knew where it was because they were so afraid that um, somebody was like, so it would just disappear and that piece of history would Cause disappear. Because, yeah, so, because over the years, um, so many things have been stolen from yeah. the hotel because, I mean, it's a beautiful, historic, yeah. like, And I think, what, what did he say? Like, it was in t- 1981 was up until that point. Was what it was. It was only seasonal, so people were breaking in mm-hmm. off season and stealing shit. So that's why they mm-hmm. hid some of these really valuable things away. Anyway, so so yeah, the concert hall was built, um, and then yeah, we he also had a billiards room mm-hmm. built for all the men. And back in the day, if you were a single man and you stayed at the Stanley, um, oh, after oh, nine that house p.m., to yourself. you had to go back to like this certain house. Mm-hmm. There was like a single it. man's yeah. r- like place. There's like no they, riffraff at the Stanley. No, no, no riffraff. No, no riffraff. No intermingling. No. But a lot of the men would hang out in the billiards room too. Yeah. And that was, they said, one of Stanley's favorite rooms. Yes. Mr. Stanley's and rooms one of too. the most awful things in that fucking oh. room was like the bench that the women had to sit on. They're like, oh, yeah. It had like this jagged edge, which I'm so fucking little because, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it doesn't, I don't know why, because why, but like, I'm just short. Because you were born that way, Shay. I was just born that way. Lady Gaga tells me so. So it's like this little bench, and then you have like this. It's it was a like long this, ass It was a long bench. ass bench. Wooden bench. And then it was like this jaggedy edge that was, for, for me, it like just hit the it back of my skull. It was like a sh- wooden shelf behind yeah. the bench, and it was the, to make sure your posture was, was straight but and apparently you weren't it's slouching. for some tall ass fucking Amazon women, because for me, I'm like, well, that just kind of hits the like the base of my skull, but maybe yeah. that's where it's supposed to hit. I don't know. I, yeah. It, it tightens it right up. Yeah. I'm like, fuck, I'm awake. Um, and that, yeah. in the billiards room, the ladies were allowed to come in there before nine or something, something like that. But, but they, they had to this. sit at this bench yes. and make sure they weren't slouching mm-hmm. because no man likes a slouchy lady. No, no, no. It's not good for a good breeding. No, no. But apparently the guy who said like, that's, there wasn't a lot of women in there anyway. They were in there. They were in the writing room and they were writing poetry yeah. and shit. Which is which the reason why like all the his, yeah. history is yeah. um, written Documented. down. Because all yeah. the ladies were writing yeah. about it. You're welcome. And all the men were just smoking cigars, jacking each other off in the billiards yeah. room. They just went in there. They got a time machine. They went to go fuck each other. They <laughs> did. And they're DeLoreans <laughs> in 1907. Yes. Or 19, wherever, 1911, wherever it was. So, yeah, the billiards room was cool. Um, mm-hmm. There was a really cool, creepy mirror in there. That, yeah, because um, a, a lot of the mirrors were actually the original ones. The original really fucking, cool. fucking mirrors. But it was trippy because they were like, kind of warped a little bit. 1909. So, yeah, they were kind of warpy. Yeah. And yeah. Which some of t- my pictures, I mean, I'm sure there's not ghosts in them. No. But some of my pictures, there's like weird patches where it's like. Yeah. Which you can't tell. So you never. Some of them aren't. Yeah. So you don't know. Like, is it the mirror or is it a ghost? I don't know. Yeah. He told us. So, I mean, like along each room when we went into him, he kind of told us stories like on what the ghost, like the ghost that kind of inhabited there. But um, he kind of flew through him like really quickly, which I didn't know. Like, I kind of just, we kind of discussed this with Greeley. We're like, do ghosts really are aware if like, if they're interactive, are they aware where they're at? If they're, I mean, like, do they have a con, like a. What do you call it? A um, not a conscience, but are they are they conscious? Yeah, you know what I mean. So, um, but he talked, which I'd never heard that term before. That there's interactive Two types ghosts. Of ghosts, yes, interactive ghosts and residual ghosts, mm-hmm. and they have a lot of residual ghosts. So he talked about the residual ghosts that were in each room. Like there was one, like in the concert hall, that you could see, like the the wife that she was kind of in. Like there's like if you turn, if you're looking from the stage, you there's like this. He made like a little like a 
what's it called? Like a opera box. Aqu- opera a... box, but it's not an opera box, but a it's like hot a box. It's, it's not a hot box, <laughs> but that would be amazing. A boxy. A boxy. It was something. like it was her something like it was like her, yeah. So you could up top. Supposedly, you would you could see her. You know that that energy kind of just kind of go back and forth. I don't think he said anything about a residual ghost, but he's talked about like, or I'm sorry, an interactive ghost in there, but he talked about like. The conductor guy. The conductor guy. There was an electrician in there that he says that sometimes he'll fuck with the lights. Yeah. That he like had a heart attack. he died. So the electrician that's in there, his name's Paul. Mm -hmm. So anyways, also residual ghost. So residual ghosts is like a ghost that like doesn't interact and they're just the kind that like. It's like old energy. Like like a. They just like do their routine. Like a home movie on repeat. Yeah. Yeah. And then an interactive ghost is one that I bet you can guess interacts with you and like can interact with which people. fuck those ghosts. I don't want it that kind. Of, oh, which we had. Oh god, I can't. Anyway, I can't wait to get that story. Anyway, so one of the other ghosts, which he's an he's not a residual ghost. Paul, mm-hmm. um, he's a security guard, and he died in like two thousand. Like nine. Yeah, it was pretty recent. Or Fourteen. I, and I'm or talking something. about a different ghost. Too. I'm talking about the electrician. But go, tell his story first. Oh. You know. Oh yeah, 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 Paul. Oh, the electrician. But tell Paul's story. So Paul, um, like apparently we didn't experience this, but sometimes he'll like knock yeah. on the the wall really loud when obviously no one's around. Right. Um, he'll make sure like if it's past a certain time, like people have had experiences of feeling like they're being pulled out. Yeah, we didn't have that experience. Um, Thank God. And like sometimes you'll hear the tour hear, would have ended right there for me. And then sometimes I gotta go. you'll hear him say, like, get out or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. Um, but the electrician. Yeah. The electrician, I can't remember what his name is. I think he died in the 70s or something like that. Where he had, I guess, maybe not. Because he had wired. That's right. They had re... Um, con- not reconstructed, but like um, what's rewired it? the building. Just they just rewired the building, and the, some of the, by the way, the some of the fixtures in there were really cool looking, like these basic weird. They were chandeliers. like Chaluli glass they were, or whatever it was it's bizarre. called. Chahuli. I don't know. Chaluli. I'm like Cholula. People know, I don't know. that is. I don't know. Chimichanga. I don't know. Anyway, no, so it's I know. Glass. But he rewired the whole place, and I guess um. Paul was the one that had the heart attack, the security guard, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, Something mm-hmm. happened. And then the electrician, I can't remember how he died, but the tour guide said, like, it usually is, like, if you're working at the Stanley at the time of your death, you usually end up back at the Stanley, um, which I'm not quite sure why that is. they probably I've always kinda wondered, they were. I'm kind of wondered why that always was, which, yeah. Anyway, so he sometimes, I guess some of the stories are he'll fuck with the lightings or whatever if, if you're, I guess, if you're quote-unquote lucky. Mm-hmm. Um, there's also Unlucky. a ghost dog named Cassie. Oh, She's yeah. a golden retriever and she used to like fetch the paper for them all the time. Yeah. And I guess she, you can, she still does. Do Apparently some guests at the Stanley can hear her. Like you could, they can hear her scratching, oh, yeah, 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 scratching and then, the but they open up the door and there's nothing there. So she would, she would go and fetch the paper and then she would scratch at each person's door and then she would drop off the paper and then she'd get a treat and she would go off and do it again. I'm like, oh, what a cute, it's the I only know. ghost I would ever want to encounter in that place, Please to be honest doggy. with you. Maybe Cassie. that's what I need, a ghost dog. A little ghost dog. They don't <laughs> leave any messes and they just, no. Leroy doesn't leave any messes. He's fucking clean as fuck. Well, then there you go. You got, you're halfway there. I am. <laughs> anyway, um... So there's another ghost in the concert hall that we'll talk about. Yeah. So Paul also the the security guard. So after when we were we were we went and the dead security guard. The dead security just guard. So we're clear. So there's two parts of the concert hall. You go. There's one part upstairs, which is what he was talking about, where all the like where the, the, pe- stage where the, the conductor was and all that kind of stuff. And you go downstairs. It's not a basement, but it's just a downstairs area, and that's where Paul is said to reside. And then across from that. Because I guess it used to be a break room or whatever. And then across from that is another room. And that's where Lucy resides. A girl named Lucy. Lucy. <laughs> Lucy. Um, she, they don't, they, they said that they don't have any really record of, record of her. her. They, they just said they took their, I guess, in-house psychic in there. And they said, like, what's your name? And she, they heard the word Lucy. And they said, how did you die? And she said, cold, cold, cold. So they assume that she died from either freezing to death. Like, they don't know if she was, like, a like a transient or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but they don't, but they also look back and they can't find any record of anybody freezing to death. But if she was a transient, maybe... There is no record of her. Who, who, maybe she's just a Jane Doe. Found herself in yeah. there and died who, down there. Who, who knows? So, 
there's stories about her that they said like if you're a guy she really likes guys that she'll like if you, if a guy like walks in before his significant other she'll shut the door and if like I forgot about that. yeah so he was like telling us like if you if a guy goes in she really likes you then she'll close the door like to keep you away from the significant other or like if you're trying to go out the door like and the significant other goes out first and the door closes and then that's if, if she she likes men yeah um but again they think that she died like i think in the 1970s as well so but again not much history is known on her so that's what i think her big thing was is mm-hmm. that and she has a room down there mm-hmm. in this basement thing yeah that's where the um, door and is they have picture they've we didn't see any of the pictures of her but um there mm-hmm. is one picture that I think a guest took or someone Mm -hmm. and she's like standing in, there's like a little bathroom in this Mm -hmm. room and it's like a narrow, like long room. Yeah. Um, it's kind of weird. Yeah. It's very bizarre. There's a picture of her like ghost in the hall, in the like doorway of the bathroom and she has like green eyes or some shit. Yeah. It's fucking terrifying. Oh God. It gives me the creep. So yeah. So we, uh, so there's that. And then Paul, that's Lucy. Yeah. And then Paul also, um, he like can leave like like there's a little couch where his room is and he, he, it's like he, you can see like a, sometimes like a little indent of where he sits. Yeah. Um, so yeah, couch. so some of the so he's the the tour guide had some really great ghost stories on in that room. So then we went, where did we go? We went back into the main hotel yeah. part into like the catacomb basement. Yes. Well, no, we went first, which was that really cool airbrushing oh, thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, So we went into, I guess it was like One a... The, ball, the McGregor room? Like the McGregor room or something One like that? Their, like dining hall, yes. ball room thing. So then he talked to us about like this chambermaid that um, she was like, I guess these, these kerosene lantern things that oh, she was yeah, going yeah. to like, she used to light them. This was like in the, what, 50s or 60s or something mm-hmm. like that. And it like... She this was, was on the fourth floor? Fourth floor. It was in the presidential suite. Mm-hmm. I guess those rooms are all, like, kind of cut up now. But she was she had, like, a candle. And I guess somebody had, like, left some gas on or whatever mm-hmm. in the room. So she opened the door, but she had a lit candle. And it, like, fucking blew. It, I guess it blew, like, what did he say? Like, 5,000 square feet of that hotel just oh, apart. Yeah. And apparently they found, like, shit like a mile away up on at like the base long, of a mountain. Like, like at the base of a mountain, like of where that, ex- like that's how big that explosion was. From and the it, fucking candle. Yeah. So gas. she was blown backwards and got, and that like pretty much all the rubble fell on top of her, but she fucking she survived. She survived it. Because of those torturous bullshit corsets. corsets that women were made to wear. And it probably because it, but it saved her life. Like she was, it was, it pretty much held her together. So they had one purpose, ladies, and it was to save you from pretty piles much, of rubble falling on pretty you. Pretty much. So, um, I that guess. the only use. Right. That was it. Because you couldn't breathe. But, um, I guess the, the what was his name? F.O. F.O. Mm-hmm. paid for all of her medical bills, so he was a fucking good employer. Yeah, he at dude. least did the right That's thing. That's why everyone stayed there. Yeah. So, and she actually was, That's like, she came. Never leave. Yeah, exactly. So, she apparently, she got better, and then she came back to the Stanley, and F.O. told her, like, whatever you need, like, just let me know. I, I, I will take care of you. And um, she came back, and they were like, you can have whatever room. And she's like, I don't want a fucking room. And she probably didn't say that. She's a little more polite back then. Mm-hmm. Um, I want my I want my job back. So, and then she worked there to like, wh- she however like, long, she was like in her 90s. Yeah. When she, and then she clocked she her for worked. the last time, and she's passed away in her sleep at her house. And, and she was like 91 years old or yeah. 92 or something. But apparently, like, you can still see her kind of wandering the halls. And she'll like, apparently, I don't know how much this is true, but like, Apparently, like, if you are, like, a unmarried oh, yeah. couple, she will, like, you'll feel like if you're, because she, she doesn't, because, again, like, men were supposed to sleep, if you're not married, if you're single, if you're not married, then they're supposed to sleep in a separate house or whatever, so if you're, ma- if you're unmarried and you're sleeping in the same room and you're, like, on her little rounds, like, you, it's like you'll feel like you're being pushed apart in the bed mm-hmm. or, or if you're um, a single guy and you're there with nobody, Apparently, like, and if you unpack all your stuff, all your stuff will be packed up and put outside your door. Because um, you're not supposed to be there. Right. But if you're a married couple, like, sometimes if you leave your suitcase in there, um, I think there's specific rooms. I just, I know one of them's 217, to, obviously. Yeah. Two, and I don't know if there's other ones. Maybe there's it's like, 237. I don't know. Yeah. I forget. But 217 is like the Stephen King room. Yeah. But 
I think if you or it's two thirty seven. It's there's something. It's either two thirty seven was the, the movie. Book. Was it the movie or was it the, the book? I can't. I'd never read the book, so I don't know. I think it was the movie. Yeah. Is he made fun of some girl in our tour group who was like 237 he's like you only really? watched the movie i know I was like jesus God. and i was like i don't fucking know no, don't, either dude why did you have to get so mad um he was very serious he was super serial um but apparently like if you're if you're married he'll and you leave your shit in the room like it's still packed it'll be all unpacked for she you was, there was an unpacking service yeah back then too. yeah little mints on the pillows and you'll leave you'll yeah. see your like shoes night neatly yeah it's laid crazy by your bed and which i don't even i would lose my fucking mind if that actually like, happened to okay, me bye. yeah bye. i'm gonna go down to the motel six yeah There's no ghost there um <laughs> going back down the mountain oh, right so so that so that yeah so apparently ghosts. like she checked she like she clocked up for the last time and then she clocked back in the next day in the afterlife oh yeah because people after swear she died, to god they swear, that, swear they saw her yeah they, they yeah <laughs> they swear they swear to God. Um, um, so yeah, so they t- um, the, oh um, another interesting fact about that ballroom or whatever, which I still can't figure out how they fucking did it, but um, but I don't know much about airbrushing. So apparently the whole entire inside of the room was white, and I guess for Stephen something would happen with Stephen King or the movie or something like that that they wanted it. I can't remember why. It was like. When they shot the so okay so let's talk about the Stephen King thing yeah so the movie The Shining is based is a, a semi autobiographical biographical story yeah of, of Stephen King's experience. experience at the Stanley Hotel right um, obviously not all of it's true but a lot of it he experienced some weird things while he was there super super um, shit. The movie The Shining, however, was not filmed at the hotel, and Stephen King actually fucking hates that movie to this day because it is not true to his vision for the book and for the movie, and he let Stanley Kubrick do whatever he wanted, which Stanley Kubrick, like, just likes to fuck with you. Yeah. And um, also, he he was afraid of flying, Yeah. and he lived in London at the time, so he was like, we're not... Flying to Colorado, yeah. we're go take some make pictures. A set. Pretty much, and because they, they also because they were asking the Stanley Hotel, like, okay, can we like paint like fucking red over the walls in the Stanley Hotel? It's like, we're a historical well, landmark. Yeah. Go so, fuck yourself. No. So, so this let's jump forward now. So yeah. the movie The Shining was not filmed at the Stanley, but there's a show that came out. Yeah. Um, it's like a three part mini series or something that. Stephen King actually wrote and directed, and that was filmed at the Stanley Hotel. And that was more true to his book. Yes, yeah. but they, but when they were filming there, they wanted it to look more like the movie, I guess. Mm-hmm. And like there was a lot of old wood and all sorts of stuff in the movie. Yeah. Um. So in That's that room, what it was. okay. See, in the ballroom you thing shit that I didn't. Um. Yeah, it was all white, and they decided instead of like making it all wood, it's like a beautiful. It looks like wood trim it just all over the like place. Beautiful, old wood, like, it's marbled amazing. Marbled wood, it's fucking gorgeous. I'm like that can't be real. And there was actually like a little paint chip that had picked off, and there's white under there. Yeah, and it looks like real wood, but I apparently it's all airbrushed. I don't airbrushed. know how they did it. It's it's bananas. So apparently it's going to be there until they said the stipulation was until like the, the f- fandom of. The Shining goes away, but so the the tour guide kind of joked like, so it'll Never. always be here. <laughs> it'll, it'll always be always brown. be airbrushed. Yeah, it, it but was, it looks amazing. It looks. I just I can't even believe it. I told my dad that, and he was like pissed. <laughs> Why? <laughs> he was like, "That's not wood." <laughs> he was like, like "I was I mean, fooled the entire time." Yeah. Such horseshit. I've been robbed. I've been robbed. Um, yeah. So that was a cool yeah. McGregor room. Yeah. And then oh. we went back, and then oh, we went to the catacombs, yes. which, um, which I was, t- I was like, it was Bree, weird. Do you there. taste pennies? And you're like, no. I was like, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> I don't like it. So in the basement, so the Stanley Hotel sits on this giant fucking rock, yeah, of then, nickel, like fucking yes. cop, not copper. It was, it was nickel mica, like it was all these basically. It's a giant battery. 
pretty is much. what this rock is. And that's what they described it as. And I, and they were like, this is why it's so active here because the ghosts get all their energy here from it. And I'm like, well, why the fuck are we down here? Yeah. Like touch it. People are like taking selfies with it and like touching it. I'm like, there's we got a goal. There's one ghost down there. I forget what his name is. He's but a French guy. He's yeah. A past- he's supposed to be like a pastry chef guy. And he likes the ladies and he sometimes Squeezes will show up in their, their selfies is what he said. Like yeah. And he also, yeah, the tour guide was also like, he likes to, Squeeze he likes to touch parts. ladies in their soft parts. Like, I don't We're know like, what that means, okay. but we got to go. And then he looked at me I know, and you, like, and I was like, you make get eye- your eyes away. I know. It's like the first time you make eye contact with us, like, go fuck yourself. Yeah. I don't know what was with the employees there not making eye contact with us, but whatever. They're like, these two bitches, they don't, they too broke to buy anything. Um, so any- that was a weird room. It had very weird energy. I didn't like it. I didn't and like it. And apparently it tasted like nickel yeah. in there, which makes sense. It was like yeah, that rock. It was crazy. Um, so yeah, that was the last room, I think. That, that was the saw. last That was the last, last little bit of the tour. We didn't see any ghosts or anything like that. I didn't get like any. The only time I felt On weird. On the tour, we yeah, did not. I did not. No, we did not. We. I only. T- the only time I felt weird was in that fucking catacomb shit. It was like we're, we're every fucking end of any horrible horror movie that you are in a haunted house it always in the fucking basement so why the hell we were there i don't know why <laughs> it just freaked me out anyway so um, oh, and then there was a weird little cave that had a cone in front of it and they're yeah, like don't try like, to crawl don't go in, in there. there and we're like it's like where a does, dark ass cave that where like the fuck who the does fuck that go where, yeah who knows where that goes that's Smeagol where, lives that's back where here. satan lives yeah. um the darkest force of that the dark fucking, witch yeah the darkest fucking energy force lives right there um but anyway so we leave there. We ended our tour. We ended our little to tour. The and um, then because we were just, because it was like, we're in a sleepy mountain town. So there's nothing open. So we just were like trying to just get up there just to eat really quickly. Yeah, we wanted some Which food. your good friend, not good friend, but like friend, we were hoping to catch him, but he wasn't there. But he just then was so fucking nice and hooked us up with some bomb ass shit. Yeah, Holy so crap. Yeah. I was like messaging him this man like, can fucking oh, cook are you at work guys. and he's like i already went back down to fort collins so he was like texting his sous chef to send us food out it was Which awesome. he did not have to do that was really sweet of him yeah and it was delicious it was... we got some red snapper and some their wagyu beef special oh, and was so good and it was delicious anytime i can cut steak with a fucking fork i'm in fucking heaven yeah unless it's like you know nasty steak it was delicious. It was delicious. Amazing. It was so good. And it was so rare. You could and taste the fibers of that yummy. Little, little cow. It was so Ooh. good. Yeah. Anyway, so oh. we ate some bomb food. We got the same waiter again who wouldn't look us in the eye. Which Still was the same waiter, Patrick. We. Fa- it was funny because I was... Um, <laughs> you did, you gave him... Because my friend Ryan was like, who's you gave your him server? Two descriptions. And he was like, oh yeah, it's Patrick. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I was like, um, he, he was like, who's your server? I was like... It's some guy that won't look us in the eye and doesn't look very happy. And he's like, like oh, Patrick. We're like, okay. And we like, looked at his name tag. It was right. Patrick. It was fucking Patrick. Because then he kind of, I think he felt bad because he was like, maybe it's this person. I'm like, no, you nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, you nailed it. Yeah. Um. So that was an interesting time with yes, him. It was just kind of funny. Um. Before we left, I was like, so earlier before our tour, I had went down in the bathroom in like kind of where the tour starts and it's this weird fuck. It's just a weird bathroom. It's just really big, has black and white checkered tile, and yeah. it's really open. You don't have to be just, high, and it fucks you up. And as soon as I walked in there, I just felt fucking weird. Yeah. I felt so weird as soon and as I was in there. And you need to get the fuck and out of the there. Floor tripped me out. So that was it. Was why pretty. Too. Yeah, I didn't and like it. And then there's just like Dumb and Dumber posters in there I that are it. signed. That so was that the best was part. Random. That was the best part. I loved how much Dumb and Dumber shit was everywhere. Yeah, and there's a lot, like in the restaurant, it's called Cascades, which is where they they film it in the movie. It's where Jim Carrey's mm-hmm. sitting at the bar. That's where we were eating dinner. Yeah. Um, it was pretty cool. And they also have, like, on the wall of the restaurant, they just have so- all sorts of pictures of, like, yeah. famous people that have been there with signed pictures. And there's yeah. lots of Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels. Lots. And which is Mary cool. Mary Swanson, which I don't know what her name is. I forget. Samsonite. See, that's her name. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that was cool seeing all that. Um, yeah. But then I was like, Shay, we, I have to show you, we have to go in this bathroom before we leave. Yeah. I was like, all right, that's and fine. So, Whatever. Yeah. So we go down there and I'm like, can I 
can we be done? I don't like it in here. Because so we go in the bathroom. Shay's like, fuck this. We yeah. got to leave. Yeah, I wasn't even that drunk. And I just, because it really is like the optical illusion that is in there is fucking bananas. So I was like, we got to go. So we left. And then we go. There's like, if you walk right out, there's like this, like this case of like, between like historical like artifacts with that were from the hotel like old like the old lamps like the one of the ones that like not the actual one but like one of like the kind that blew up that the presidential suite and like almost killed that poor woman some documents yeah it was really cool so she's filming it for our instagram and this guy comes up behind us and he's like do you guys see anything cool or whatever he's just being a nice guy from what we're like and he looks i mean he seemed to work there he had a name tag (laughs) jesus so he's like, you see any cool stuff? And we're like, nah, just some lights flickering, blah, blah, blah. And I can't remember how the conversation started, but he's like, oh, yeah, no, I've seen this. That. You, maybe you remember more than I do. He was like, well, I have some pictures if you guys want to see. We're like, fuck yeah. Of, like, some ghost people, if yeah. so, you know, whatever. And again, he had a name tag. Even if he didn't at that point, if he's like, I can show you some pictures. I'm like, as long as they ain't no dick pics, we're fine. Yeah, that's So fine. that's fine. And also, we're the only people, like, yeah. in this area but again, at this point. Because it's, just, like, 11. Right. It's all about 11. 15 about 11 night. or whatever. And so we're, but we're, like, 11, okay. 15. 11, 15. But <laughs> 2, 17. Um, <laughs> but he's, like, you know, just want to see some pictures and hear some audio about, like, some trippy shit I've seen. I'm, like, that's totally fair. We're in a safe space. That's fine. Um, I watch too much crime shit, you guys. I just get really, like, my, the hair stands on the back of my neck. Yeah, if, even if, like, an ice like, cream guy would be like, do you want, like, a chocolate comb? Like, ah, get away! <laughs> so, stranger danger. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so he showed us some, like, what looked like legit ghost pictures. Which like, some scared? that he had taken, I some like that it. guests had sent him. I didn't like it. Uh, like, there was one legit where it was, like, a person in the picture and, like, next to it is, like, a creepy-ass little boy ghost. That, it's green. Like, it's weird. It's, like, gr- it's... It's really freaky. I don't like it. And then he took a picture looks in the fucking billiards evil. room in the dark and, like, zoomed out. You can see kind of, like, a weird misty thing mm-hmm. in the picture. And then zoomed in, you legit see a face. Do you yeah. remember that fucking shit? I think I, I could barely see that one. I couldn't really... Oh, I could really... I couldn't really see that one. I could see... Um, there was another one that I think a guest took and it was because apparently like you have to take, which they, they tell you, which is very cool that they're like, take pictures or whatever. You can't record them obviously because they could get fired and stuff like that. Cause I guess it's copyright written material, but you could take pictures and they tell you to put it on the burst mode. So like you can hopefully catch something, whatever. So there was one that he got from a guest and it was like this, she looks like she's in a colonial dress. It's, oh, yeah, and you yeah. can't really, I and mean, it's behind some, like a, yeah. door, a human. Yeah. And apparently he tells us like, who knows, but like he tells us like, this is a picture that the guest took and immediately showed him after the tour. But mm-hmm. anyway, yeah. Um, and then he showed it. And then oh, he, and then and, the one by the bar, which was like the oh, nice yeah. torso, like float. It was like, I a, didn't to- like. a floating torso <sighs> next to like this bar. It was mm, so mm, weird. Mm, I didn't like it. And then he also has, re- he had recordings of some, re- of that like is some like, that, experiences he had. He that like freaked took me his, out. Yeah, he took his daughters Which, like, like down just, to Lucy's room yeah. or something. It was in a couple different places. There was yeah. one in Lucy's and the one in the billiard, not the billiards, but the where that bar used to be. There was, mm-hmm. there was, there's a, so you go into the billiard room and then you go right next door and there's like the, that's where the old bar was. Mm-hmm. And so he went in there and found his first apparition of like a little girl and it was freaky. Yeah. Like when he was telling us. Oh yeah. Cause he said his, his daughters were like on one end of the room and he was on the other yeah. and he was recording this and like he turned around and there was a blonde girl like yeah. right behind him and he was like. Is that you or something like that? And, like, his girls from across the room were like, no, we're over here or some shit like that. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Super creepy. And then I guess it was something where you can hear it on the audio tape. I mean, you have to, like, he had to turn up the volume and slow it down. But, like, you could hear him say, like, who are you? And then you hear, like, this what sound like a demonic voice, but I know it's just the way that it records. Because you can see, like, the little tiny bumps on the audio. Yeah. So you have it's to like dead silent. So it's like a burp, little burp, bumps. and that when he slowed it down, you could hear "Don't tell him," and then you hear a little girl go, "Okay, I won't," or something like that. And then you and it's we know it's not his kids or whatever because he's speaking the way that they. It's just you can tell you can it's tell. different. It's and a, then you hear like giggling on there. It's fucking freaky. I don't yeah, like it. Weird. That shit freaks me out. I was like, and okay, it's not I'm done. like really like not vivid. 
but like it's not super you can't hear it like perfectly well it's not super sharp because it's talking it's like really fast it's like super super fast so like how much he as much as he can slow it down it still sounds fast but you can hear the different words inflections it's super freaking the, weird. It's weird but i've also kind of concluded too like he invites that shit in all the time yeah he was wearing like rings and crystals and yeah. he was definitely like yeah and he also was like i'm a amateur paranormalist or right whatever, but even before he started working at the stanley but and still. he had taken multiple trips to the stanley hotel yeah because he just loved it so much right so so meanwhile after he tells us all this he's like Basically, like, was he like sometimes Lucy interacts with me or like how did we? Yeah. Um. Well, we were talking about because he was talking about all the different ghosts because he all, had all these ghost stories which were really fascinating. Uh, again, like I kind of was was taking them with a handful of a handful. <laughs> <laughs> a handful of salt. salt. All the salts. <laughs> Anyway, so um, that's it's how much I was, that's how skeptical I was. I was. I was just buckets of salt. Just like, fuck you, dude. No, I wasn't. He he seemed super authentic. Again, like he seemed like a guy, he, like he wanted to see this kind of stuff. So he was inviting this shit in. And when you invite that shit in, I mean, you I'm a firm it. believer of ghosts. Um, I don't know if ghosts sit there and do parlor tricks for you. I'm not sure about that. Which again, we'll go into that in just a few minutes. But um, <laughs> stand by. Um but I, I do believe in people that have experiences, but he was telling us that one time he was having this experience, like it was a snowy day or something like that. And I don't know if it was Lucy or it was a different ghost. It was, it was Paul. It was, pa- it was, it was, was it was ghost. some other ghost. Cause there's Entity. so many, there's so many ghosts there. I couldn't keep really keep track of whose names was, was whose. And, um, he was saying that, um, he, I think he was gonna, he was gonna get, he, he asked for one of the rooms because the, the Santa was gonna put him up because it was gonna, it was, he was like, is in a Camaro, I guess, because he was from Austin, Texas. So he obviously pre- prepped really well to come, mm-hmm. to come to Colorado. And he lives in Lakewood, which is about an hour and a half from Estes. And, um, he, was offered, like, okay, you can stay the night. And then he's like, it's one of like the, like the really just, highly activity rooms available and they said absolutely so he got i think he actually got to stay in the same room that stephen king did so he was super fucking excited so he goes in there and of course this guy's inviting all this shit in (coughs) bless you and (coughs) got it (laughs) and right and he um he's i guess washing his face something like that but he's starting to kind of like stuff starting to happen like he could hear like his stuff, like getting like oh, something he, move. Yeah, he put all his jewelry on his dresser, mm-hmm. and then he went into the bathroom and he heard all his jewelry sliding off the dresser, and then it was off he the went dresser, off and it was all yeah. on the ground. And then something else happened in the bathroom, and I can't remember he what it was. He saw a dark, like shadowy entity, and then he was like, "Bye bye." Yeah, I'm exactly. So shoveling so my if, Camaro, right? So even though he was like, he's all about inviting that shit in, he was like, "Ah, uh, I know where my fucking limit is." So he goes, he, he like fucking chisels off the, off the ice for like an hour is what he said off his Camaro. And then he is driving down the mountain. He's talking to his wife. And uh, was, in his, was he driving or was he, he was, in his car he was, still? He in was, the Stanley? no, he was driving down the mountain. Oh. And, um, I think this is, this is, he goes, I didn't, we didn't hear about his wife until like after, um, I think we were walking back to the hotel after we had our experience in the deep, dark, stupid, murdery fucking basement. Um, again, so that's why, anyway. So he was talking to us that he was he was on the phone coming down the mountain with his wife, which I'm sure there's no reception, but he when he got reception, his wife was telling him, like, but isn't that what you asked for and stuff like that? And he's like, not like this and everything else. So, And his wife is like, who's in the car with you? Because oh, she could hear somebody laughing and he could he- feel somebody. It was the little girl came with him because he could feel somebody like, oh, like a, like a kid, like a kid kicking a seat. And he said, like his wife said, who is in the car with you? And he goes, what? And he goes, nobody. He's like, I can hear somebody laughing. And he was like, okay. And so he, he actually told us like, he actually went to his bosses the next day going, 
because he didn't know if he could do this anymore. It was like one of his first days. Yeah, he, and he, or his first week because he said he was just shadowing, just yeah, kind of yeah, listening. Yeah. And he's like, I don't know if I can keep doing this. And his bosses were like, here, put these stones on, put this medallion on. So, and that's, and we saw him with the stones and with that medallion. And he's like, this is why I wear it. He them. like showed us his little bag of like, yeah, because he's like, so from here on out, when I come to work, I put this on because I felt like I was hungover the next day because I was just so messed with and everything else. And he's like, I cleared and everything, but like, it still like it was like I was hungover. So his his boss is like advised him like don't you got to just be careful and what you invite in and just be protected. So he still works there. Obviously, that at least is I so think. crazy that that's like your work environment, right? So um, so anyway, so yeah, so he was telling us that. Um, but I can't remember if that was before. I think that was after we had gone with yeah. him. So anyway. Jumping backwards a little bit for like the first or for like 20 minutes, like she or he was telling all this stuff. And then just we were like, that's crazy. And then and he was like, like have, do, did you guys like um, do you guys know about Lucy? And we're like, oh, yeah, we went actually on the tour. but We didn't really see anything like, do you want to see it? Because because he was asking like he said, like, oh, yeah, no, I took my daughters there. And nothing happened. He's like, I have a special connection with Lucy. And I'm like, I don't know what that means, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he's like, I took my daughters to go see it. Nothing happened. I took I think my he didn't say his wife at the time yet, but he said somebody else. His nothing mom, happened. His mo- the- but he said his, he took his mom, the skeptic, and the door shut once. And then he said to the ghost, I guess, to, to Lucy again, Lucy. And he showed us that he showed us the the video. video of it and we're like okay wow damn that's crazy and he said like and then i shot it a second time because we're like if you can he told lucy like if you if it, people believe it more when you can see it twice so we watched that video and we're like oh my god that's crazy and that's when he asked hey do you want to see it and i was like Bruh. and he was and you're like yes yeah. i was like brianna like- <laughs> I was just like, yeah, we do. And she was like, we're going to get raped. We don't even know this man. So he, without missing a beat, he's like, cool, let me go clock out because I'm in trouble. I was like, and I was like, like a, like a fucking cartoon. You're like, "Ah." and I was like, oh my God. I said, Brady, call Chris right now. I know. I text Chris. I was like, Chris, we're about to go into the basement. And you're like, am I too gullible? I'm like, it's fine. We want to see a ghost. Like, what if it's really real? But like, which I'm fucking very gullible. Right. So like, but I, but. I was like, but it's fine. We're in, we're in twos. It's gonna be fine. He has a name tag on. And that's what we're like. He has a name tag on. It's fine. I it's will fine. fuck some bitches up. <laughs> yes. But I was like, okay. Oh my god. So you're like, should we not go? I'm like, but again, if anybody ever listens to, um, fucking my hurt murder, I kept going in my fucking head with Karen and Georgia saying fuck politeness and that's all i kept thinking in my fucking head but i still was like but it's, it'll be fine but in my head I was like going fuck politeness fuck politeness fuck politeness i was and just I was, like you might see a fucking door yes, close. And i'm I like know. oh my god so but then after whatever reason i was like Ugh. she texted chris it'll be fine but the entire time i was like rigid all going all the way up and i was like uh-huh, uh-huh. and then the whole like, time we were walking to the concert hall which yeah. is where he was taking us because yes. that's where lucy's room is and then he was like yeah there's like it's it'll be fine like you know usually there's somebody practicing there because like it's somebody's um husband's like wife or something practices piano so you know we'll be nice and we'll just be courteous and then i felt like okay, maybe that's that's okay right yeah. that's it's better someone's in there. yeah someone's in there but anyway you were saying um like the whole way we were walking there we i felt like we kept looking at each other like are we i know we, are we smart yes. are we stupid? like what is happening we don't know this person i'm going oh my god i've watched this every single fucking episode on svu we're gonna die so um so he brings us into the concert hall. he knocks on the door but nobody answers so i'm like is this like a fucking signal is this a signal for somebody yeah. oh my god so again i i cannot get off of being murdered or whatever i just listen to too many crime podcasts and I, listen, I just watch too much crime bullshit and so, it's like eleven thirty at night, and so like right. When at this point we have not heard because the wife story didn't happen till after. Like we didn't know about his. He didn't tell us about that ghost story. Now that I think about it, till after all this happened because we mm-hmm. did not hear anything about him having a wife or a girlfriend. So for whatever reason, that's a criteria in my brain. But like hashtag <laughs> BTK killer, come on. So anyway, your cat looks like he's demonically staring at your I margarita. Know. I know. It's he's okay. possessed. Oh, sh- She's anyway, not. we get into the concert hall. So we get into we the concert hall, but down. and then he's starting to like call for people. So I'm like, is he just being polite or is he just making sure nobody's in here? So I, my brain is running a thousand miles per hour. And he go like, again, like there was like that little concert, like seating area where the, where the wife apparently used to be all the time. So he's 
checking if live people were there, but he's also talking to the ghosts um, and saying like he's calling them. Su- he's he's calling like the the woman's sweetheart. He's being really sweet or whatever. And I just thought that was really weird. Um, but I'm like, but at the same time in my head, I'm like, when is we he, were is down just, in the room, he was doing that. He was doing that, but he was calling it. But he was calling because he knows like the the wife also hangs out there, so he's just trying to be I nice. Guess I didn't notice that. I was just like ah. because your heart because you're talking about my heart was racing the entire time, and I was like, yeah. I know. So at the same time, I was like, I was imagining him just going outside of our like our eye line and just like just standing there just pretending, and I'm like, I just I can't do this. I watched him as crime shit. So he comes back downstairs. None of the lights are on, by the way, because he he tells us, oh, God, this is. I can't believe we didn't die and why we why we were like, you know what? We got to go. So yeah. we don't turn any lights on. It's pitch black. And we go down the stairs to the... Not, in the dark. Yeah, in the dark. It's not, again, it's not a basement, but it's just to another section of the place. But it's below <sighs> it's the main It's below floor. and it's dark. And he could kind of tell that we were being a little hesitant because we're... Like, we were far we were behind like, him, We were far of. behind him. And I was, like, touching her the entire time going, oh, my God, we're going to die. And he's, like, he's telling us just to use our flashlights, which... At the same time, I'm like, okay, I get ghosts can be scared of the light. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't know ghosts. I don't, I'm not a paranormal expert. I don't know any of this shit. I'm not, we did have our flashlights on, I guess. We did, because we're like, Burr! and so he's like, yeah, you can turn the flashlight on. It's, it's all good. So then he's, t- he's, t- he's talking to Lucy, and he's like going. We're in Lucy's room at yeah. this point. Well, he's, the door is shut. So he, and he knocks on it, and he's calling her sweetheart. He was, I don't remember any of this. I remember, because I remember it vividly because I'm like, this is what I'm going to see right before I die. This is what's going to happen. Oh, Here it comes. Yeah. Um, so, I just blocked all that out. But also, I, will, my, I also told her when we got back in the car, Brie, um, I actually had my phone, I had my flash hit on, but I also had my phone numbers up in case I had to call 911 <laughs> because I did have reception down there. So anyway, so we, he opens the door and we go into this pitch black room and we're standing by the doorway because I feel like he, he could also again tell that we were hesitant to come into the dark room with him. And he finally kind of is like, we could turn the bathroom light on. Like, it, yeah. it's kind of weird that you're coming. Like, you could tell your friends, like, oh, yeah, we came down to a creepy room with yeah. a stranger last night. We're like, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what we're thinking. Hopefully Where's the ghost so we can leave, please? Yeah. Um, so, so then we we go inside. He and turns the bathroom light he, on. Yeah, I make sure to, I, I'm like, like. My fucking, if I was a goddamn cat or a dog, my, like, my hackles were all up. Yeah. So I'm my like. Hackles? Yeah. Is it called hackles? Uh, it's like when, all, no it's like when all their fur is all, like, all tufted up, like a little mohawk. I've never heard it called your hackles. I think it's called hackles. Is it not? I, uh, somebody's going to, yeah. Your hair's raised. I'm looking it up right now because I'm pretty sure it's called hackles. Well, now I'll know. Yeah, erect hairs. Hackle. Your hackles. You little hackle. Little hackles. So, my hackles. Hackles were up. Were guys. all up. All the way from the back of my neck to the back of my tailbone. Like, they were erect. Face down, yes. hackles up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was really trying to get that lyrics. My, so my fucking flashlight was on him, and I was I was not going to turn my fucking back on him. And the entire time I was also walking over there, I was like, why don't I carry pepper spray? I shouldn't carry... But I'm like, in what land do I ever do this? Because anyway, so I don't... Like, I make sure that he comes back around. I make sure there's nobody else behind us or whatever. And so then we were standing there. I feel like we relaxed a little bit um, mm-hmm. once he turned that... Whatever. And so he's... Once he turned the light on. So he, he starts calling her sweetheart and like, hey, Lucy, like... You know, I know I promised. I know I, I promised. Ask you to do this yeah, again he gave us today. a backstory like that he had like a group that was kind of drunk and whatever, and she he asked her to do it. And he didn't. She didn't do it or to close the door is what we're we're talking about. So he got, he says like I didn't. I know I didn't ask you to do it, sweetheart. He keeps calling her sweetheart, and to me I'm just still like it's still weird. I don't like it. Um, and so she doesn't do anything. Like it's a for get, like a couple for minutes, a couple minutes. I mean there. we're just standing there, and he goes the door is not moving at all. No. So completely still door, just still door. So, and he didn't touch the door. He just opened it and that's all he did. I can't remember him messing with it at all because no. I was watching him the entire time. So yeah. we go, we, um, we, we had eyes on him like right? a fucking hot. So we say that and he's like, you had, you know, just kind of be inviting. And so we say and that, like, we say like, it's okay, Lucy. Like, you know, like it'd be really cool if you close the door, but if not, and that's my cool heart, too. Like before that was like, racing and also in my mind i'm like 
trying to like be okay with it, but also like my I'm a fucking scaredy cat. So like yeah. I'm like, oh my god, what is? Uh, blah, 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 blah. So I was like freaking out internally, and then he yeah. says, so then he says, so sometimes she likes because she's from the '70s, so she likes um Stevie Ray Vaughan, Stevie Nicks. Steve, she likes Stevie Nicks. That was a pickup. <laughs> <laughs> she likes Stevie Nicks. So. She might like Stevie Ray Vaughan. She he's might like Stevie Ray Vaughan. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. But um, so she, so he's like, so sometimes if you he has that music, which I don't really know why he just didn't tell us like, do we have any music? So I was like, well, I can just like, yeah. So I just pull it up. Also, on Spotify. can I tell you what I was thinking when he was saying that? What I was about to sing Lucy a Stevie Nicks song. That would have been. I wish you had been like, stop. I couldn't think of any. I couldn't think of. I'm any gonna sing a cappella right now. Would Mac. But I, I was kind of confused. I'm like, it is 2019. I'm, I'm shocked that he was like, do you have any Stevie Nicks on your phone? But I love that your thought was like, I'm just going to sing her a cappella. I was going to sing her a song. And then I was trying to think of any song with the um, word Lucy in it. And Lucy I, in the I definitely Sky. didn't think of Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. I thought of the song Lucy by Hanson. That's fantastic. That would have been amazing. But then I amazing. couldn't figure out the words and I knew she would So I pull that. up Spotify. I put on Stevie Nicks. And I can't remember which song was it. It was just like the world yeah. we yeah. so wing dove. It, yeah, I don't know what the name. I'm sings a song, sound like she's singing. So I know the, I know, I know her songs. I just don't know any of the titles of them. So not f- what five, ten like seconds ten in. Seconds ten later seconds the- in. The as I was playing it, it fucking shut, and I was well, like, no, Shay, it didn't just fucking shut. It goes forward and backward. Oh, that's right. It did. Like two different times and then slowly shuts in the most fluid way. Way. Like yeah. when you shut a door, it, yeah. you know, it shuts fast. It was right. like the same speed the whole right. time shutting. Yeah. But it also before that went forward and backward. Right. And the door before that didn't fucking move an inch. Right. Centimeter. Right. There was no what like if it was a draft like maybe it'd go back and forth a little and a weird you know yeah nothing like that was happening it was after we fucking played CV Nix that that door moved right so I was like whole oh. I was like looking at her like it's a gif everyone sees it like the one with Andy Dwyer and he's like oh with his like mouth yeah. fucking wide open I was star fruit um he was looking at I was looking at Brie like that and then all she could say she wasn't even excited she was just like thank you Lucy. <laughs> And I, was, I don't know how to talk to ghosts. I was just trying not to laugh because she, I could tell that she was petrified. She was like, thanks, Lucy. Like, and then Thank I was like, you. and at the same time, I was like, holy shit, was that real? I don't know. I couldn't like freaking register it in my brain because at the same time, like I said earlier in the episode today, I was like, I don't know if ghosts really do parlor tricks. So I was still on the fence. And, but at the same time, I was like, okay, great. We saw it shut. We can get the fuck out of here. I still, I'm creeped out by just being down here with this guy. So, cause I don't know him anyway. So this, so then he stops us and I was like, Meh. and then he goes, if, if any, if you can't, if you think that you can deny it, I always say that you can't deny it if you see it twice. So he goes over to the door though. This is where I get skeptical. Mm-hmm. Skeptical. He, he, he messes with the doorknob. And he did. He was over there for like a minute. Like he, it wasn't like he. It's not like he opened the door back up. And I don't think did the door shut all the way. Did it he, close? Did it click close the first time? I thought it did. I I can't remember if it did or not. So I don't know. So I remember him opening or just just at least opening the door. And he was over there, and it looked like so. Also, when you when if when we went inside, it kind of looked. Actually, it wasn't until we left when I or when the door shut again. You see like a door shaped hole. Yeah, like, yeah. <clears throat> right. So you see a door-shaped hole, like, where, like, if somebody, like, slammed, like, the door slammed the door really fast, you could see it, like, in a wall. So I'm like, so he was over there for a minute. So I don't know about the door-shaped hole yet. But he's over there for a minute. And I, I notice, like, he's just, like, he's just kind of fiddling with the doorknob a lot. So that kind of just put some, just, I was like, okay, what is he doing? Why is he over? Why, why doesn't he just go over there, reset the door, and just walk away? What is he doing? I guess I didn't notice. That. I that's what I noticed. That's the only reason why I'm kind of skeptical about the whole thing. Yeah. So he does that. So he said, "So Lucy, like I've said it, whatever. Like if if you could see it twice, like you can't deny it." We didn't turn Stevie Nicks on. 
and we I know we did say like yeah Lucy you can do it again like but if not that's cool like I was like that's cool if you don't want to do it Mm -hmm. but within like not minutes this time it was within seconds you could see the door move one way to another one way to another and then shut faster this time and it clicked close and I was like well I saw it move like like a little bit and I was like oh I saw it move that's what I saw and then but I saw it was it. just it was li- it was little. Mm-hmm. It was smaller than the but, first time. But I saw it move the second. I didn't see it move like that the, sec- the first time. I, I saw it move that the way the second time. So I was like, oh, what's that? What is that doing? Yeah. So and then it moved faster and it clicked close. And I was like, damn. And you were still were like, thank you, Lucy. Yeah. <laughs> so you still were just keeping your cool and everything else. And I was like, OK, like maybe that happened. I don't know. I was just like, I I was like numb. Right. So, but then I, when I looked though, even though I was like, oh my God, did that really happen? I, that, my, my brain started going when I saw that hole in the door. So I'm like, did he just manipulate it where he just kind of put it? And was it just a, it, was it just luck that we happened to turn on Stevie Nicks and the door shut? I don't know. Like, I'm not quite sure. I totally believe in ghosts. Absolutely. I just don't know. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Like, I just don't know if they're about parlor tricks or maybe they are. I don't know. I've never but seen anything are, like yeah. that before. So anyway, so we like fucking, okay, that was cool. And we, I like fucking like run out of there. Cause I'm like, <laughs> okay, we're not going to die. Thank God. But at the same time, I don't know. So I'm just like, we all just, right, we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're gonna go now. Bye. So then we get back to the car. Cause we go our separate ways or whatever. Um, we go back to the car and I'm like, we're never fucking doing that again. We could have died. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah so we uh, we're like but then, did that just fucking happen yeah we were freaking out but at the same time like brianna we're never also, the doing thing that, that again got me was when we were leaving and he put a door stopper in front of the door because he's like we have a problem keeping this door open right so i'm like so well, what does what, it shut by itself that's the other thing too so i'm just like but then i was thinking because we talked about this in the car so after we were like freaking out going okay thank god we didn't die we're never doing that again unless we were with a man because yeah. holy shit because then brie was like and then i was thinking like we were going downstairs and like he opened the door and there's somebody was there waiting for us i was like i didn't even think about that <laughs> like i thought a friend was down there waiting in the back of the room right i'm like oh my god he could have totally done that jesus fucking christ um so thank god um there's lots of morals to the story but anyway um first of all we survived yes so we we were just kind of digressing and trying to go through everything and so like when we got when we when we first went on the tour with a big group of people like at eight o'clock like uh we i mean i would think that that door would have moved because there was no door stop on it. No, and, and it was nothing was and going he, on down and, there. And our and our tour guide told us all about Lucy and like about the you know if he if he likes the guys or he likes or she likes the girls. I'm sorry, she's not a lesbian. She likes the guys, so she'll shut the door or whatever. So he told us that there was some activity. So he didn't have a he didn't have the the door stopper there. And we were down there for like five or eight minutes or something like that. That never door never that. that door never moved. And I would think if that door would have moved because of some foundation issue or something like that. I mean, people walking in and out of that, like, that door frame, something would have either, like, you, do you know what I mean? Like, when somebody walks by something, something, like, you can kind of get some wind or whatever, and it'll it'll shut. That door never moved. Mm-hmm. So, and that, and it was three of us in there, away from the door, and that door moved. So, I mean, like, that's the only thing, like, okay, maybe it happened because it didn't move yeah. when we were all in there. And... The back and forth motion. That and like that's, that's not normal. What trips me up. Yeah. It's like that wouldn't have happened if it was like someone behind there pushing it or right. like or is someone there... pulling it or some you know like that wouldn't happen like that. I, I didn't see any wires, but I mean it's not 2019. They could put wires in there. I don't know. I'm. It could be on an automatic thing. Who, who knows? knows? Who knows? But at the same time, why would he take us down there at 1130 at night? And why would that? It, yeah. Like we just randomly met him. Like, does he plan that just to make sure he, they find people and they have right? someone waiting? So they always there? had the, like, like the legend is always there. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know. So I, I don't know. I'm still on the fence about it. I'm not Me sure. Um, I'm like 85% sure. Right. Because the Stevie Nicks thing's just freaks the hell out of me but i saw his hands the entire time his hands was his hands weren't in his pocket but was somebody in there and we didn't know like who knows but that's just me being the skeptic but i but i believe in ghosts i just don't think that they are like sitting around like going all right i'll shut this door for you 
Anyway, all we know is that shit shut by itself. It twice. shut by itself twice and differently each it, time. Right. I have a hard time denying it, but I also have a hard time like believing fully believing, it. fully believing it because the coincidence. Why didn't she open the door? Why wasn't it another? Yeah. Door? So that's what the why other thing is too. Like, that why is it only that, that way? Why is it only that way? Why is it like? But at the same time, it's like, well, like my shit can like you can. All my stuff is just arranged how it is. Like, but in, does anybody ever see it? Like, how do I? How do you know it's real? And like, that's the I believe. Like, I just want to reiterate. Thing. I believe in ghosts a hundred percent. But it's I just hard. don't know if they can do that kind of stuff. I don't know if they. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Maybe I did. Maybe I totally did, and I saw that with Lucy. It's just hard to believe when you haven't seen it, right? Obviously, but at the same time, I, we did see it. But like, what if we really did see it, and we're still like, mm, I don't know if it happened. But then you have the chef friend who yeah. is like, No, Lucy is one thousand percent real. So I'm like, So did we fucking just yeah, see a ghost? Because I, I messaged um, the chef after Ryan, and I was like, Okay, this is what happened to us. Mm-hmm. And first of all, you should be like, Is it a trick? Is that what they do to people? And he answered back. Lucy is real exclamation point. And I, you should have asked, do you know anybody by the name of whatever that tour guy? I don't name remember. Was? His I know, name. but it sucks. We shouldn't. He would have been like, we no, he's been dead sure for 25 real. years. Yeah, like, seriously. So, <laughs> right. Um, but you it, didn't see him say hi to another person. So that made me feel like he was a real person. <laughs> But Shay said she looked on the directory of employees and she didn't think she saw his name. But we don't know his name. So right. We don't know his name. We're going to have to call and be like, is there a tour guide from Austin, Texas who's been yeah. working here like, for four months? No, we fired him. Real? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, he's probably fired. He's been fired because he kept luring girls to the fucking basement and slaughtering them. So <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're we first... probably got out quick. <laughs> it's true. It's good. He. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, who knows? Maybe who knows? should call. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure he was a legit guy. I think he was just super excited. He loves that kind of stuff. But at this yeah, like the first time I saw it, I was like, okay. I mean that was exciting, but like I need to get the fuck out of here. Like I don't I don't want any more part of this. Like yeah. I don't like this at all. Cause I just I again, if it is real, like get me the fuck away from that. I don't want and that attaching we like- to me on the way home like I don't I don't want to bring that shit into my home fuck that yeah so. we were afraid Lucy came back in the car with yeah. us and you kept saying like stop saying like- that <laughs> but she doesn't like, like girls no she doesn't like girls so and I think guy she- who likes the squishy parts yes. might have been Ooh. in their car yeah so Yikes. anyway no matter what it was a fucking experience even if it wasn't real that was the best field trip I've ever fucking it was it'll be hard to top that We'll free the animals, and that'll be our field trip to the zoo. That'll be the only way to top what we just did. Exactly. Yeah. But it was fun. It was super so fun. So hopefully you guys, like, enjoy this little, like, dual little episode. Yeah, that was... Duet. It was a it duet. It was a duet. A 30-ish duet. It was. I'm going to find the dice now. Yeah, so every 10 episodes, we're going to go on a field trip, guys. <gasps> Oh, some pop culture. Oh, I know what I'm doing, so I already know what I'm doing. Yep. Perfect. I already know. I'm so excited. Yes. Is it Beyonce Homecoming? Uh, Nostalgia! Make it count, girl. Oh, it's going to be I'm just good. kidding. Actually, no. Yeah. Okay. Do you I know what you... Options. All right. There you go. Sweet. Well, that was fun. Uh, we'll have that was to. Super fun. That was super super fun. Well, we hope you enjoyed your Cinco de Mayo last week. Ole. Because technically, it's it'll the be week after. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It'll be Mother's but, Day. Actually, it'll be Mother's Day when we release oh, yeah. this one. Happy so Mother's tell your moms Day. you freaking love them. Tell your mom. Thanks for she giving her tummy ass and thighs just to bring you into this world, just to be in the goddamn pageant. But you know what? I'm quitting. That was perfect. <laughs> yes. Thank Nailed you it. for sacrificing your tummy, ass, and thighs. Hey. That was the quote you need to tell your mom yep. today. Exactly. Uh, anyway, anyway <laughs> um, we'll see you next week. Yeah. Oh, don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Oh, look at you. Also, it's if so you good. see our cars around town, give us a beep. <laughs> 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 Me and Shay may have decals mm-hmm. of our podcast on our cars. They look pretty fetch. There's. So they do, uh, especially awesome. after I figured out how to put it on my car. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Look like You're like, it looks bubbly. Shit. I'm like, what the fuck you are you talking about? You have to take about? the other part, part off. off. <laughs> so, like, I stuck it on my car, and it had to 
peel thing like I guess normal car stickers have. Yeah. I don't know about that. That's fine. I only put real stickers on my car, okay? I'm sorry, all right? Lisa, Lisa Frank. Frank. Yeah, that's right. And so I had it on there. I was like, wow, why does Shay's look so fucking good? And mine looks literally like, like a five-year-old. You're like, it looks a little ghetto. Car. I was like, uh, it's because you didn't put the sticker off. <laughs> I didn't peel the other Peel it off, not put it off. off. Anyway, anyway, give us a beep. Follow us on Instagram, T-H-U-R-D-Y-I-S-H, mm-hmm. at sign at the beginning of that. Or, um, yeah. Perfect. Just leave us a comment. Tell us what you're thinking about us. And uh, that's it. If you don't want to, that's fine, too. That's cool. But we'll talk to you next time. Yeah. See you then. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Bye, 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 bye. Adios. Jesus. <laughs>